Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Thursday morning, about 10.45. At best, it looks like I might have a half an hour before the rain comes again. Man, that's really dark. All right, I put on the 360 module and this wouldn't be a true test of any of my gear if I didn't go to the woods by the rec center, Great Neck Park. Unfortunately, I may have waited a tad too long getting all my stuff ready and, you know, just dicking around because it was torrentially storming overnight all this morning. It stopped for a couple of hours and apparently it's going to be even worse this afternoon along the lines of like severe thunderstorms and even some tornado warnings so or tornado watches whatever the hell there might be tornadoes so i am basically just racing my way to great neck park which fortunately isn't that far away and i'm going to try to just go in and, and get some footage really quick so at this point now i have tested the 4k boost module that came with this new 1RS, and I tested my 1-inch module, the Leica module, Ooh, Jesus, and it's okay. This doesn't look too bad, although it was a little bit dark when I was in the, ugh, when I was in the Forerunner before I came out and started eating spider webs, Jesus. So, okay, it was fine, but... I thought it looked pretty bad, and the feedback that I got from everybody was that it looked fine. It didn't look that bad. Still got to play with those settings, which I haven't had time to do. But now I'm testing the 360 module just because of the fact that I haven't really done much with the 360 module. I did it like one time when I went roller skating throughout my neighborhood, or I tried to go roller skating throughout my neighborhood. And, you know, I just played around with it. But I wasn't going to do all that, all that, you know, the stuff with the app and doing all kinds of weird shit in the tiny planet or whatever the hell they call it and stuff like that or the cloning. So, eh, you know, I, I didn't feel the need to actually use the 360 module. And I figured, all right, at one point I decided to buy the one inch module, even though I hated the Insta 360 One R for all the problems that it gave me. Got it. I decided that it was okay, but then got this and thought to myself, you know what? I'm probably going to use that most of the time rather than the 4K boost module. Just because, I mean, what the hell? I might as well use the one-inch module. I, I bought it. Today, this morning, I ordered ND filters. So I ordered an ND filter, and like an 8-stop or whatever they call it, an ND8 for the one-inch module. And I ordered an ND8 for this 360 module. Because I do plan on using this 360 module a lot more. So here we are. We're on an overcast, getting ready to storm day at Great Neck Park. It must have rained a lot because it is like up to the very tippy here of the shoreline with water all the way out. Everywhere you can see, there's a ton of water. <laughs> so that's it. I think I'm going to stop this now because I think I have more than enough footage to figure out, you know, if this is okay or if it's great or if it's shit okay everyone here's something for you a little bit of news after i did the 360 module video earlier in the day today by the way you can see it's all sunny and nice out i've been waiting for it to rain all damn day i feel like i screwed myself out of a day of fun by sitting inside waiting for it to rain and it not raining it's been gorgeous and sunny the entire day that aside so when I did the 360 module test today, I walked around and I did this, that, and the other thing. I had it in the vehicle. When I took the footage off the 1RS, I realized that I was going to have to run it through the application in order to make the file or the footage readable to Final Cut. So I went in and I started clicking all the buttons and seeing what options I had, what was turned on, turned off, whatever. And that's when I found it. There is a specific section where you can go through and you can click on voice. And I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but basically it's like 
brings out the voice and that's it. That's, that's kind of all it does. Or noise reduction. I hit noise reduction and then I scrub through the footage and it got rid of all of the driving noise and the rain and all the other shit and you could hear me clearly. And then I tried it the other way by, you know, centering on the voice and it did the same thing. It, it only picked up my voice. It didn't pick up, or at least it wasn't playing back all the other shit that made the audio horrible. And then I realized that's probably what those influencers are doing. Theoretically, they're editing their footage through the app by using one of those settings for, for the audio to get rid of all the noise and makes it sound good. And then when you export it, at least for Apple, I exported it as ProRes. When I did that, it exported an MOV file, and that is completely unreadable by either one, either my iMac or my MacBook Pro. And I pulled it into, tried to pull it into Final Cut, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't even recognize. It. I just figured that, okay, well, let me go back through, and I just left it on 264, and it defaulted to HD. It was 1080 by, you know, whatever. I'm like, ah, shit, I don't want that. So I actually went in and type, started typing in the 4K resolution pixel size and all that kind of stuff, and it did it, and it exported it as an MP4. Okay, once I did that, and I went back to the MacBook Pro and clicked on the file, it opened right up and started playing back, and all that extraneous noise was gone, and the audio actually sounded pretty good. So since I'm fond, I'm well, not fond of, you know, being a dumbass, but... I always admit when I do something wrong, and I am admitting it now, that the audio actually isn't as shit as I thought it was because I did not run it through their software first to fix everything. I just assumed that since they put flow state and all that crap built into the file straight from the camera, that it also fixed the audio and did all that stuff. I didn't realize that I was going to have to go through it and choose all that shit to make it sound decent. So there you go. Mia culpa, the monkey was wrong. If you want to have decent audio and use the internal mics, you're going to have to filter your footage through the Insta360 like studio app, or I haven't even tried it on the phone. I'm never going to edit on my phone, probably. But you have to put it through the Insta360 studio. And once you put it in there, if you don't have the updated one, I didn't, I had the 2021 version. It says, do you want to update it? And then it makes it 2022, removes your icon and you got to go back up and drop that back down. If you have a quick, you know, like the bottom of your computer, if you have like a quick launch. So I went through and I, you know, I picked one of those two, like the noise canceling or the, the centering on the voice thingy, whatever the hell they're called. And again, it sounded great. And even after I exported it out as an MP4 and, and listened to it, everything sounded much better. There you go. It just sort of pays to inspect all the stuff. But again, that's what this is all about. This is what the monkey does. He buys stuff. He tests it. He tries stuff. If it works, great. If it doesn't, get the hammer. And if he realizes he's an idiot and he messed something up or missed something or did something wrong or didn't do something that he needed to do, he admits it and reports it to you. So there you have it. I just wanted to cut in there with that, and uh, and I guess I'll end the video with this by telling you that that I was wrong, and this is what you have to do to get good audio, internal audio, and it probably will even work if you use external audio. I haven't tried that yet. I just wanted to try it with the internal audio. So there you go, and that is all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember, kids, forward and up.